Hi guys. Today I introduce to you how to make an animated puddle in the anime style using Blender 3.2. For everyone to follow, I have divided the tutorial into six parts. Let's move on to the first part. Create water surface. The water surface is created from a circle, switch to edit mode, select all the points and then press the F key to fill the circle. Now switch to shader editor. Most of the work of this tutorial is done here. Create new material, remove principled BSDF, because I want to use emission instead. With anime style, emission will give you a brighter and more beautiful image than using principled BSDF. We need to lay out the colors in a circular pattern, so I will use a gradient texture. Press Ctrl T to get two additional notes mapping and coordinate. color ramp to adjust the color and width of the colors. This is a very commonly used node. Now your job is to adjust the color to make it beautiful. To make it easier to manage the nodes, I group these nodes into one frame. Name it water. Part 2, create small wave spots. In this part 1 will create small white ripples on a black background. I need a new mapping node to create the movement later. To create small dots I immediately think of noise texture. Hold down the control and shift keys and then left click on the node to display the effect that this node brings. Color ramp increases the contrast of textures. I used the greater than calculation in the math node to remove the blurry areas because I wanted the ripples to be in the absolute black area. You see the threshold of greater than is 0.7. Need to know black is 0, white is 1. Threshold equals 0.7 which means I only took the areas with whiteness from 0.7 to 1. I added color ramp here to control the whiteness of these ripples. Maybe it's not really necessary but I did. Done, now I group these nodes together in a frame and name it wave. Part 3, creating waves at the water's edge. Parts 3 and 4 will also create textures on the black background and in part 5 I will combine it with the water surface created in part 1 to create a complete water surface. This wave is circular so it will still be a gradient texture. I don't know why the above frame always eats my new node, but it doesn't matter much because I press Alt P and it returns this node back to me. View this node by press Ctrl Shift left click. I still need color ramp, this node is really popular. I adjusted the white wave at the edge, the black part in the inside. Same as before, I used greater than to sharpen. I used Voronoi to make the white part wavy. And combine these two parts with multiplication.
Gather it in a frame and name it Edge. Arrange the nodes to look nice and easy to edit later. Part 4 Creating a Buoy and the Waves it Causes Create a float with a torus. Nothing much to pay attention to, most of the basic operations. Now let's go back to the shader editor to create waves from this buoy. I just discovered a way to stop existing frames from eating my nodes, which is to use Shift A instead of clicking Add Node. In Texture Coordinate you connect to Object, then select Object as the buoy, the connected effects will be centered on the buoy. You've got waves, but waves spread across the surface. To limit the wave area, I use gradient texture. Combine these two textures using Mix RGB. Use color ramp again to select the displayed wave area. Causes the wave to distort naturally. Collected in a frame named Ripple. Part 5. Combine effects to fully render puddles and create motions. First I combine Wave, Edge and Ripple together using Mix RGB. Then combine the result you just created with the water surface using Mix Shader. I added emission here to adjust the brightness of the wave areas. You can change the values of these two emit sun nodes to get a satisfactory image. Now it's time to animate the wave and the float. First is the small wave in the wave frame. I put in here hashtag frame which means every frame the value here will increase by 1. It's too fast so I divide by 500. Good. Here too, hashtag frame slash 500. Here we cannot use X or Y rotation anymore. Here we create motion by changing the phase offset. 
The wave moves inward, adding a minus sign in front. Now it's the up and down movement of the float. Raise the float a little higher. Place the keyframe at the beginning and at the end with the same position. Go to Graph Editor. Select Z location and add a modifier named Noise. Increase scale for slower motion. Decrease strength to reduce range. Perfect puddles and movements. The last part. Create the ground. I subdivided the mesh to create the terrain. My intention is to create a low area in the terrain to place the puddle in. Select the point at the world origin corresponding to the center point of the puddle. Turn on proportional edit and drag the selected point downwards along the z-axis. Make it a little bulge for a natural look. Finally go to the shader editor to create the material. Usually the land near the water's edge will be darker in color due to being wet. I also want to do the same. How to use these nodes I have explained quite thoroughly in the previous parts of this video, I will not repeat. Now I create a texture for the normal so that it looks like grains of sand. Since the puddles are emissions, I don't need the extra light. Just one default light source is enough initially. Hope this video is useful to you. Thank you for watching. If you find it interesting, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment if you have any questions. See you in the next videos.